I'd like to call the Senate session. Mr. McClurk, let's call the roll. Senator Barnett. Senator Barrett. Here. Senator Barry. Here. Senator Blackman. Here. Senator Blackwell. Here. Senator Blunt. Here. Senator Boyd. Here. Senator Branning. Here. Senator Brumfield. Here. Senator Bryan. Here. Senator Butler. Here. Senator Carter. Here. Senator Chazenall. Senator Chisholm, Senator DeBar, Senator Delano, Senator England, Senator Fillingane, Senator Frazier, Senator Harkins, Senator Hickman, Senator Hill, Senator Hobson, Senator Horn, Senator Jackson, Senator Johnson, Senator Jordan, Senator Kirby, Senator Ladner, Senator McCon, Senator McClendon, Senator McMahon, Senator Michelle, Senator Norwood, Senator Parker, Senator Parks, Senator Polk, Senator Rhodes, Senator Robinson, Senator Seymour, Senator Simmons of the 12th, Senator Simmons of the 13th, Senator Sparks, Senator Suber, Senator Tate, Senator Thomas, Senator Thompson, Senator Turner Ford, Senator Whaley, Senator Wiggins, Here. Senator Williams, Here. Senator Younger. Here. Mr. President, a quorum is present. Thank you. Will the senators and guests in the gallery please rise for the invocation to be given by Randall Bowling, who is the pastor of Heritage Family Church in Brookhaven, Mississippi, and a guest of Senator Barrett. The invocation will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by Senator Barrett. Pastor Bowling. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather once again in this great hall to convene for the work of the people of the great state of Mississippi, we come and we ask for your help and your guidance. I know that by your word, you are interested in law, you're interested in legislation. You gave us the commandments by which to live our lives. You have always been the centerpiece of our democracy and I pray that even though we are seeing a great spiritual attack, that you will allow us and help us to remain true to your values and what you laid out for us in our lives. Our founding fathers gave us a great blueprint for our democracy, endorsing it with their signatures and sometimes their lives. I pray that we can remain true to all of these values these principles of liberty and justice, they transcend both time and culture, and they serve as a beacon amidst the stormy seas of government. May the decisions made today and every day that we meet, may they honor the Lord, may they honor the prayer that you laid out for us. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I know that you're interested in public servants, that are before me this day. So I pray for each of these men and women that you have ordained and set in place for such a time as these. I pray for them today, Lord. I pray for our government, our governor, our lieutenant governor, every elected official serving us. I pray that your spirit would encourage and strengthen them to be themselves, to be true to their values, and guidance of your voice in their life. I also pray, Lord, for the families that are making sacrifices so that they can be here to serve us. I ask you, Lord, to bless them and keep them, everyone. And we pray all of this in the great name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please join me in pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. 
and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes, sir. Here we go. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Stay a little, stay a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Pastor Bowling. Thank you, Senator Barrett. And we'll go to Senator Polk. You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the Senate dispense with the reading of the journal. Senator Moose dispense with the reading of the journal. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Message and petitions, Mr. Clerk. Mr. President, there are none. Committee report, Senator Polk. You're recognized. Mr. President, I move the Senate dispense with the reading of committee reports. Senator Moose with the reading of the committee reports. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Senator, next to the reading of the titles of the bills and resolution, recognize Senator Polk. Thank you, Mr. President. Move the Senate dispense with the reading of the titles of the bills and resolutions. Senator Moose dispense with the reading of the titles of the bills and resolutions. All in favor signify by saying aye. All opposed, no. Thank you, Senator Polk. Now to introduction of guests, Senator England. Introduction, Mr. President. Please proceed. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, if you'll look in the West Gallery today, we have from Community Care Network, Ms. Diane Easley, and we have my sister-in-law, Allison Brewer. Please help, them make, uh, help me make them feel welcome today. Thank you, Senator England. Welcome to your Senate. Any other, any other introductions? Any other introductions? We'll move to the calendar. And um, I will walk through by committee appropriations, pass and retain finance, pass and retain rules, pass and retain. Uh, any motions for, to reconsider or non concurrence? The rest of the bills are in conference and appropriations on general, any general bill. You need general bill. Seeing none, all retain their place on the calendar. Mr. Clerk, I have 95 of them from the various committees. So we'll go to announcements. I know we have a lot of committee meetings, so let's go to announcements. Start with Senator Hawkins. Senator Hawkins, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Announcement and adjourn in memory. Please proceed. Um, Finance will meet tomorrow morning at 1030 in room 216. And when the Senate adjourns today, I ask they do so in, in memory of Mr. Bucky Gideon, a uh, local uh, broker, real estate broker, developer in uh, the metro area, good friend and uh, great man you missed. He will be. He was one of the nicest people I think I've ever met was Bucky Gideon. And he is, uh, we're saddened by his departure from the earth. Senator Fillingame. Thank you, Mr. President. Judiciary B will meet in the morning at 9 o'clock in room 409. 409. Judge B, Mr. Clerk. Senator Michelle. Senate Insurance Committee will meet tomorrow morning in room 216 at 930. That's not our normal time, which is 9 o'clock. We're going to meet at 930. 930, Mr. Clerk. Senator McMahon. Yes, sir. M municipalities will meet this afternoon after business and financial institutions in room 210, which Constitution will be meeting in there, so it'll be pending on when they vacate as well. 210, Mr. Clerk, immediately after Constitution. Senator Turner Ford. Thank you, Mr. President. Drug policy will meet in the morning at 8.30 in room 409 instead of this afternoon. 8.30, 409, Mr. Clerk. Senator Carter. Announcement. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Energy will not meet today as we scheduled we were scheduled for tomorrow at 115 in room 409. 115 Energy, Mr. Clerk, 409. Senator Jordan, you recognize for announcement, sir? Yes, sir. Mr. President, I'd like for the Senate to help make welcome my good friend all the way from Army Hall, Nebraska, Mr. Jefferson McCaskill, sitting in the Northern Gallery. Please make him welcome the state of Mississippi. <laughs> Senator Tate. Yes, Mr. President, announcement. Please proceed. Uh, just a reminder, Veteran Military Affairs will meet five minutes after recess in room 407. Five minutes after recess, Mr. Clerk. S Senator Johnson, for what purpose, sir? Mm. That's McCon, I think, sir. 
There we go. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, government structure will meet tomorrow following finance in room 216. 216 following finance. Senator Hill for announcement. Yes. Constitution will not meet today, but we'll meet at 845 in the morning in room 210. 845, 210, Mr. Clerk. Senator DeBar. Thank you, Mr. President. As Energy has canceled their meeting this afternoon, Education will meet after adjournment in room 216. After adjournment 216, Education, Mr. Clerk. Senator Polk. Announcement. Please proceed, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Business and Financial Institutions Committee will meet uh, immediately upon recess in room 409. Room 409, Mr. Clerk. Senator Blunt. Thank you, Mr. President. The Gaming Committee will meet tomorrow morning at 945 in room 210. Thank you, Senator. Senator Robinson for an announcement. Announcement, yes, sir. Uh, the Capitol Prayer Group will meet in the morning at 8.30 in room 204. Everyone's Thank invited. Thank you, Senator. Senator Simmons for an announcement. Yes, Mr. President. County Affairs will meet in room 409 immediately following business and financial institutions. 409, Mr. Clerk. Senator Younger, for what purpose? Journey memory. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. When the Senate adjourns today, please do so in the memory of Brenda Faye Weston and Marcus Oswald. Thank you. Any other announcements? Senator Fraser. A joint in memory. Please proceed. On behalf of Senator Norwood, Blunt, and Horn, I request that the Senate join us today in memory of uh, former Justice Court Judge from Hines County, Senator Joe Rose Lewis. Thank you, Senator. Anyone else? Anyone else? Senator Wiggins, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I uh, ask unanimous consent to suspend the rules and go to House Bill 1607, ask the title be read, and then be allowed to explain. And my motion will be that we recommit the bill to committee for further work. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Please proceed, Senator. Mr. Clerk. Senate, uh, House Bill number 1607, Mississippi Women's Bill of Rights Create. Um, Mr. President uh, we t and body, we took this up in committee this afternoon. I got a call from the, uh, from the chairman in the House. Uh, we had a little miscommunication in the bill. It, we did put a strike call, but we need to further work on it. Um, and we, we have our committee meeting tomorrow, and so we'll address it then. And uh, so my motion would be that we recommit this bill uh, to the committee from whence it came. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Questions on Sen from Senator Wiggins. Questions? Seeing now, motion is to reconsider. All in favor, signify the, by saying motion is to recommit. Recommit, Mr. I'm President. sorry. Recommit. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The thank ayes you. have it, Senator Wiggins. Thank you. We'll move on to other announcements. Other announcements. Okay. We, we have a busy, busy two days. Senator Polk, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the Senate stand in recess until 5 p.m. or until the last committee report is filed, at which time the journal will reflect, and we're adjourned until 10 a.m. tomorrow. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Stand in recess.